Today, we will show you two Bitcoin charts in combination no one is looking at right now, which show us exactly when an altcoin season might start up to the exact day. We will also talk about the Bitcoin dominance, where it is right now, according to the charts and the numbers everyone is looking at, and where it might be really if we adjust it to some data points, we will show you also in that episode. We will exactly talk about all that different stuff. So if you are already excited, guys, make sure you take a seat, make sure you smash up that like button right now. And that being said, welcome crypto friends and welcome back to MM Crypto. My name is Chris and as always, guys, we are really pumped to go straight into the content. Before we do so, we want to show you something really, really funny. And it takes a few seconds, but really it is worth watching it. And afterwards we go exactly into the data points and into that crazy charts right here. So check it out, guys. I'm pro pro very sure that a lot of altcoin holders can relate right now. Full credits to at the crypto bubble on YouTube. Check it out. This guy. All around me are my heavy shit coins. No more Bitcoin. No more Bitcoin. Look there, Tron. Spent it all on Tron. I have weak hands though. Where's my Lambo? Where's my Lambo? And I find it kind of funny. I find it kind of sad The Ponzi's I've been buying Are the Ethereum. worst that ever crashed I find it hard to sell them I find them hard to hold I cannot make it up, it's I Stella. joined the telegram <laughs> to ask the question Tell me When moon When moon Laza, look at that so guys, you cannot make it up. At the Crypto Bubble, full credits to you guys. Well done. Nice job. So today we will talk about the altcoins. Probably a lot of altcoin holders are out there or maybe Bitcoin holders which want to go into altcoins to maximize their Bitcoin holdings. So this content is relevant to each and every one. We want to start one or two minutes with some theoretic stuff before we go back into the charts. We need to understand the context. And guys, that will be really mind blowing um, if you haven't heard about that already. There was an article in March, just very quickly, about the market dominance and the Pareto distribution and power of law. As you know, Pareto means that 20% of the input are responsible for 80% of the output. Thus, also due to that Pareto and power of law distribution, the Bitcoin market dominance in the long run should be somewhere around 80% and maybe is even 80% right now or back in the days in March. So we will talk quickly about that. What he did is he actually took the market cap, the volumes, and he saw that only taking that means a 65% correlation of the top 100 altcoins. And that actually means that it makes no sense um, when you look at the volumes and take them into consideration for the market cap because a lot of market capitalizations out there are overinflated. So he took away one third of the bo um, lower bottom of the altcoins and then he made um, plotted them with a vo volume weighted market cap in a lock to lock distribution. And then you can see a 99.6 correlation R squared, which already points into the direction that the Bitcoin market cap back in the days on the March of 22nd was already 80%. What if we told you that right now the Bitcoin market cap is not 80% but 90%? What if we told you that the Bitcoin market cap might be going even higher? I mean, the real market cap, not the one everyone is looking at, might be going even higher than 90%, maybe to 95%. What if we told you that? And what if we told you that the Two charts in combination today will exactly tell us when the tides might turn and when the altcoins might gain new momentum and um, when that momentum might end also. So we will talk exactly about that. That's a very interesting article. We will leave it in the description, but you already understood the basic concept of that. First of all, 
Big shout out to Bybit. Everyone who wants to trade on Bybit, you know we have a collaboration. It is not paid, not sponsored, but we have an affiliate link. You support the channel and with one minute of your time and the deposit, you get $60 free bonus only with our link. So click it right now and yeah, take advantage cautiously of the market volatility. Um, margin trading is dangerous. Let's go on. First of all, a very, very valuable add to that video is our video on our channel, switch Bitcoin to altcoins. Here's exactly when. This is about the very mac macro timing. You can click that video, it's popping up right there, but um, use it as an add to that video. So remember, market caps overinflated. The volumes are also overinflated. You know that article, we know everyone saw it out there, but just as a quick recap, this guy actually said for 15K, I fake your exchange volume and you get on coin market cap. As you know, the um, market cap and the volumes are all point, um, um, taken out from coin market cap and coin market cap tracks it through APIs from exchanges. And those exchanges are mostly shady. And he's not the only one, like nearly every altcoin project out there pays market makers to get overinflated volume. So right now we know the volume is overinflated. The market cap is overinflated. Nevertheless, the Bitcoin market dominance is still 65, 60, 65, 70% right now. But what we also know is most probably the real market cap right now is not 80% like in March. It might be even right there at 90%. And what we think is that it might get even more overextended to more than 90%. And now we want to get into the combination of that chart. Let's, man. Sometimes I'm so noobish when it comes to these charts, man. <laughs> All right. So we are here since like nearly two years in that ascending triangle and Bitcoin is trying to break out of that right now. We have the resistance here at roughly 70%. In the real numbers, Bitcoin already broke out a long time ago. But let's focus on that right now and always keep in mind that the real market cap dominance is way higher. We have here on the bottom the Maya multiple. You probably remember the Maya multiple if you are subscribed to our channel. If you are not subscribed right now, we have been talking about the Maya multiple, which exactly measures the deviation from the Bitcoin price in that exact moment to the 200 day moving average. And here we are not on the Bitcoin price charts. That's the market dominance chart. And we have never seen that, correct us if we are wrong, that someone has combined the market dominance chart with the Maya multiple. Let us know in the comments if we are wrong. We have never seen that anywhere. So we can see right now the Bitcoin market dominance is overextended. We have a Maya multiple of more than 1.2. So the Bitcoin market dominance is way above the 200 day moving average from the market dominance. So what we can see if we zoom out ever since Bitcoin broke the old all time high in March or April 2017, Bitcoin was below. That means that you can see it. It was below the Maya multiple of one below the 200 day moving average of the Maya multiple. And we can see that this always marks a huge altcoin season. Whenever we go above, it means that we have a Bitcoin season. We go below altcoin season, above Bitcoin season. So right now we are above, we have a Bitcoin season. What does that actually mean to us? We know that we have to look at the 200 day moving average also on the Maya multiple, which is exactly right now starting to get upward sloping. It always means that we have an overextension in the Bitcoin market dominance. And since this is over, um, since this will be upward sloping throughout the next weeks and month, that might mean that Bitcoin might go below that 200 day moving average on the Maya multiple even faster since it is upward sloping. So what we are looking out right now is on that chart everyone is looking at right now that um, Bitcoin breaks out of that, that Bitcoin maybe reaches even a market dominance of maybe 80% or so. I mean, we, are, we, we cannot look into the future with a certainty, but that actually would make a lot of sense due to the Pareto distribution. But in the adjusted market cap, market dominance of Bitcoin, that would actually lead us to a real adjusted market dominance of maybe close to 90%. So if Bitcoin dominance according to coin market cap is at 80%, the real market dominance will be at 90, 95%. And that will be the reason, uh, the moment when you can get dirt cheap into spe um, specific altcoins 
in Satoshi denomination and our timing, we will tell you when that might be. That will be, first of all, the first and real dirt cheap moment we can scale into altcoins. And also, it will be the moment, most probably in our opinion, somewhere around the date Bitcoin reaches the old all-time high. Why? We have told you in that video here, if you remember, that will be the moment a lot of people will come from the retail investor's point of view and start to find cheap alternatives to Bitcoin. Just as it happened right here in that exact moment, we broke the old all-time high. We think that exactly might happen again. And also that might be the moment when Bitcoin will rapidly plummet and also go below that 200 day moving average. This is exactly what we think. But please guys, remember, most of the altcoins out there are trash in our opinion. Most of them, like more, way more than 90%, way more than 90%. So what we think in the very long run might be that Bitcoin might be levering off. Hopefully we will have nice charting then adjusted to that fraud out there. Might be levering off at a market dominance of 80% and the few really legit altcoins out there might get maybe a market share of 20%, which will still lead to a lot of room for growth since the Bitcoin market cap is also increasing rapidly. Let us know what you think about that. Do you think Bitcoin will go through that resistance? Do you think Bitcoin might reach, might reach levels of 80%, maybe even 95% in the adjusted market share? Let us know about that and also let us know your specific altcoins you are looking out for right now. So we think this is actually very powerful. We will keep a close eye on when the Bit Bitcoin price reaches the old all-time high as we had a huge selling signal a buying signal for altcoins back in the days as the old old time as the old alt season started we will keep a close eye on that and also secondly we will keep a close eye on the maya multiple on the 200 day moving average on the bitcoin dominance and on the 200 day moving average on the maya multiple let us know what you think about that smash up the like button right now use our referral link for bybit get $60 free bonus for one minute of your time, guys. And we will see each other at the next episode of MM Crypto very, very soon. As you know, a Bible tutorial is popping up right here. Click it right now. Watch it. Leave a like. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We will see each other very, very soon at the next one of MM Crypto. And as always, guys, bye-bye.